Hi, my name is David. I'm the founder of CROI, which also stands for Cafe Racers of Instagram. And we're based out of the Moto Collective here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. It's also where Curry Sauce is located, so come on in. So here it is. It's a 2007 XR1200 that, as you can see, has been customized quite a bit. This whole project started when Kuryakin and Kroy got together and they came out with some new parts that we thought would work really well with the bike from controls, levers, to you know, the rear sissy bar, as well as the custom seat from Mustang. Um, we used a lot of the Dillinger parts and some of the Kellerman lights. And with posting all these different types of motorcycles, we wanted to combine all these different cultures and styles in a way that we thought was cohesive. It could be, you know, argued that it's not, but it draws a lot of inspiration from the Bosasoku culture, which is a Japanese bike gang culture that started in the early 50s, but then grew in popularity during the 80s. Um, translated, it means running out of control, which we hope this bike will be doing in the future. All the bodywork was custom done by Jake the Flying Dutchman out in California. And this is where the bike was built. So it debuted at the Born Free Show and then shortly afterwards went to the hand built show. And without any of the vinyl graphics, it was just raw, which looked great in its, in its own right. Um, but we wanted to you know, ask our audience what they thought would look really good for a design. And because we couldn't come up with one, we decided to do two. So if you come to this side of the bike, you'll also see a design that most of you probably have seen somewhere, the Great Wave design. And we did it purple just because we're from Minneapolis originally, so I'm just paying homage to the prints. And as you can see, the wheel setup is um, set up for super hooligan racing. So Rather than just being a show bike, we also intend to see how it does on the track. And with the different styles, you know, we've got our handlebars, tracker bars from TC Bros, first one mounted tank, custom cafe frame mounted high with an externally mounted oil cooler. And then Crazy Frank inspired rear section, which draws a little inspiration from the pagoda architecture in Japan as well. And that's pretty much it. But we also have this third tier that also goes on, the sissy bar. This will go on eventually. So this is definitely a work in progress. So keep an eye out for it. There's a lot more in store for it, but hope you enjoy it or hate it. It's intended to do both. So thank you.